Hello everyone. Hello again from USA, Canada Visa Help. And today we will discuss about whether you are eligible for getting or obtaining US visit visa. Maybe you are considering applying for US B1 B2 visa like visit visa which has like different categories but mainly people apply for business visit, tourism or medical reason so these are the main three reasons why people apply for visit visa from all around the world who doesn't want to travel to us right in the world almost half or more than half of the people of the world like four billion people of the world they want to visit us by any chance someone wants to come by visit uh, for business reason someone wants to do it for medical or someone just for a great travel with the friends or families or for the business or medical so uh, let's understand how much fun do you need for us visit visa so that you become really really a good candidate for visit in terms of the understanding of a visa officer like visa officer will not issue you a visa unless he or she is convinced that you have sufficient financial capability to visit us to maintain yourself and come back to your home country visit visa mind it it is a non-immigrant visa you cannot stay in us so how many months you will be issued the visa for it will be six months so for six months how much fun do you need for like um, your understanding there is first of all there is no set minimum us visa laws or nothing shows a minimum amount like this much amount you need like minimum amount in your bank account so that you can visit us no there is no eligibility in terms of a minimum requirement of funds but there is a calculation in the minds of the visa officer or the consular officer who will assess your visa interview like uh, you will be interviewed by the visa officer and maybe he or she has a calculation in you in his or her mind so how much is the amount he or she is thinking that you should have like those people are thinking that you should have at least six thousand nine thousand or twelve thousand whatever is going to be sufficient for you to keep yourself in us without begging for funds from others like for instance in us to maintain your life in a decent fashion every one person needs if it is one person that person will need nine thousand dollar in our expertise or in our experience like wherever in us you were for six months nine thousand dollars should be enough for yourself but if you go with your family the fund requirement will increase it will not become eighteen thousand if you go with your spouse but it should become four thousand or five thousand dollar more like thirteen thousand if you also want your spouse with yourself in us so for one person what should be the amount we think it should be nine thousand dollar minimum the more the better but the less the risk here like if you only have five thousand dollar in your bank account what if you are in us you spend five thousand dollar in three months if you wanted to stay whole six months for which you were given the visa so you cannot stay in us with your funds if you only have five thousand dollars so it should not be enough and visa officer may think that no for six months you should not have this much money like only five thousand dollars you should have more money so that is for our from our perspective or from our experience and understanding if you have nine thousand dollars you become a good candidate in terms of financial capability all right but if you only have six thousand seven thousand dollars that is also a good good uh, amount but it becomes a little bit riskier if you have less than nine thousand dollars if you have nine thousand or more this is a really really good uh, status financial status in terms of the visa um, officers understanding okay visa officer will become more positive towards you if you have nine thousand dollars in your bank account because 
you will be given the visa for six months stay or all right so that is the fun requirement part and now let us talk about what is no no immigrant intent or like country tie if you have a good country tie the possibility of your visit visa approval is very very high very very high if you can prove to the visa officer that yes you have sufficiently strong country tie or the tie with your country home country then visa officer will easily become convinced and will issue you the visit visa you will be given the visa so how you can prove the country tie so if you see in the bottom part you see that there are three things the visa officer will look with a hawk eye like with a big magnifying glass that your job for example if you were a top government official or good government official or a good multinational company official or a bank official or a reputed company official or a good private company official or if your rank is good like executive rank or your salary is good so these are the things that makes your country tie strong because your job is so strong and it, and your job is very much positive job like this is a very strong job rewarding job established job so visa officer will be convinced that yes you have to come back to your country because you cannot otherwise secure your job so that is a convincing factor and then your home like if you have a home like you are not a homeless like you have a good piece of land and building like or if you have a good flat or an apartment so these are the things that will convince the visa officer if you have more property the more uh, positive it will be in the eyes of visa officer okay and then thirdly your relationship with family and friends like you are in a good family situation you have a spouse you have children and you have also your parents who are alive or you have like uh, your wife or husband is not divorced like you are not single or you are not like um, without anybody like you are like alone if you are like alone you you have no parents living you have no siblings or no spouses or children that is like you are a free bird if you go to us you can permanently stay in us you can go there and make an asylum petition for yourself because you don't have any urgency to go back to your country home country so that is why the visa officer wants to make sure that your family relationship is strong you have a spouse you have children you have it doesn't mean that you have to have everything you have to have spouse you have to have children you have to have parents no not not like that if you have more people related to you who are in your home country that means that you have to go back you don't have to like uh, go to us and you will stay there uh, forever you, you will not do that because you have a very strong relationship like you have good level of family members in your home country let's talk about another most important factor which is you were not a public church you are not going to be a public church in us what does it mean by public church public church means if you go to us and us government has to maintain you that means you will be spending public money not your money so you will be a burden to us government so that is not a thing that us government wants from you then the visa officer will of course not be convinced to give you or issue a visa so you have to be financially independent you have to be positively in financial strength so that the visa officer becomes convinced towards you so how do you prove your financial status or you will not spend a lot of money like the visa officer will count your age your job your marital status your family status and your properties everything and what 
to whatever amount you have in bank account all right and medical conditions so these are the things and also he or she will also assess that you have visited some countries in the past like you have visited neighboring countries like two to three countries so if you have visited some countries in the past so it indicates that you have financial capability and also you have the habit of visiting the countries so visiting us is not an accident for you it is another another common thing because you visit countries more frequently more like out out of your home country you go and come back so this is a positive thing you should have some visits as well in your profile so that the visit visa um, uh, application becomes strong and the visa officer becomes convinced that no you are a really really good candidate and you should be issued a visit visa so that you can see or you can enter the dream country of the world and just have your dream visit and of course this is a non-immigrant visa so you should be financially strong and that is what the visa officer wants to assess and mind it in the visa interview you have to be smart you have to be convincing you should not have any lacking in your speech okay so if you can confidently present yourself there is a high chance you will be given the visa so i hope you will be able to secure the visa so let us talk about the next steps in the coming videos so look at our channel for more videos in the future okay thank you so much for visiting and watching the video and getting all the information you need related to how to apply for us visit visa i have enjoyed you have enjoyed the video uh, just see you in the next videos okay thank you so much for listening bye bye